24. In the diagram below, triangle ABC is similar to triangle RST. So let's remember what similarity is. It means that all the angles are equal, but the triangles are a different size. So the lengths of the sides are different. But the lengths of the sides are in proportion. So we're going to use that to find out which statement is not true. So let's go down the list. First, angle A is congruent to angle R. Angle A is congruent to angle R. That is true because they're similar triangles so their corresponding angles are congruent. So that one is true and we won't look for the one that's not true. Then AB is to RS. AB, the bottom of this triangle, is to RS, the bottom of this triangle, as BC is to ST. BC is the right side of this, ST is the right side of that. So yeah, that should be true. AB is to BC, so the bottom is to the right side, as ST is to RS, the right side is to the bottom. Ah, see they switched it, you can't do that. It's If it's bottom to right, then this has to be the same, has to be RS to ST, not the other way around or it won't work. So that's the one that's not going to be true. And let's just check 4 for completeness. AB plus BC plus AC, well what is that? That's the perimeter, right? It's the length of all the sides of triangle ABC. And that's being put over RS plus ST plus RT, which is the perimeter of the second triangle. So the perimeter of this one over the perimeter of that one equals AB to RS. That's going to be true because the perimeter of the first triangle compared to the perimeter of the second triangle is equal in proportion to the length of any one side of the first triangle, so just call it side one, any side, as compared with the corresponding side in the second triangle. So that's certainly true. Three is the best choice.